Hey everybody, today here in the shop we've got a 2015 Isuzu NPR. And a, other few of my videos, we've done drag link replacement, tie rod end replacement. On this truck, all of that has been done and the front end's tight, but there's still some slop in the top of the steering wheel. And there is a crucial maintenance procedure. You're gonna be really stoked when you figure out how easy it is. But if you don't do this and you let it go, it can cause a death wobble and it can cause the other parts that you just put on to wear out faster. Uh, it's a minor adjustment to the steering gearbox, it's adjusting the worm gear, tightening it up and getting the play out of the steering wheel. Seems like a pretty intimidating thing to do, but like I said, you're gonna be pretty stoked when you figure how easy it is. So let's get started. So the, where you're going to be making the adjustment, right here is the drag link that I made a video about replacing. And the first thing you need to do is go ahead and remove this end that's connected to the pitman arm right here. And we'll go ahead and do that here in just a second. I just wanted to show you, kind of give you reference to where everything is. So the drag link's connected to the pitman arm, and the pitman arm's connected to the gearbox. On the outside of the gearbox here, on the right side, there's a stud with a jam nut over it right here in the center. The end of this stud has got a slot in it for a flathead screwdriver. So when you make your adjustment, you're gonna crack that jam nut loose and you're gonna screw that screw clockwise a quarter turn at a time. And then when you have your pitman arm loose and your drag link out, you can wiggle it back and forth with your hand to determine how much of the slop is getting out and then you'll hear a little clicking noise and whenever you wiggle it back and forth and the clicking noise goes away your uh, worm gear is adjusted correctly and your steering will be more responsive first thing you do take this cotter pin out like i said a minute ago i've got a, a full video on replacing this drag link as well as the tie rod ends. I'm gonna put both of those links in the description. Get your inch and a 16th socket. And then you need to get your Pitman arm puller, tie rod puller, whatever method you use to remove drag links and drive this out to free up this pitman arm it took some persuasion but i got the drag link knocked out it wasn't pretty but if you listen really closely you can hear the clicking noise i'm talking about and that's what you're aiming to get rid of once that's gone you have adjusted your worm gear. So now we're gonna go up top and start adjusting that screw in. Then you come up top here with your 17 millimeter wrench. Watch your adjuster screw to make sure it's not moving whenever you break this jam nut loose. Sometimes it's even a good idea to put a flat head on there to make sure that they're both not moving. So now that that jam nut is broke loose, you just want to take your flat head and turn this in the eighth or a quarter turn at a time. You don't want to over adjust and get it too tight then your steering's gonna be super touchy and you're gonna be jerking all over the road. Just do a quarter turn and then come down here and listen for the clicking noise. Do another quarter turn. And 
and just keep repeating the process. You hear it's already getting quieter. Keep repeating the process till that pitman arm has zero slop in it. Now you all heard what it sounded like before we did the adjustment. I'm gonna put the same amount of pressure back and forth on the pitman arm. And you hear zero clicking. I hope that helps. Um, after you're done adjusting that uh, screw in, tighten your jam nut back down, then torque your drag link castle nut to 123 foot pounds. Uh, if you like my videos, hit the like and subscribe button, and y'all have a great day.